too. Um, there's man-made hardships, and then there's hardships that just happen because that's what life's all about. Hardships. How you deal with the hardships and how you overcome hardships and how you avoid hardships and how you help others deal with hardships. Um, that's what makes us who we are, right? That's what gives us character, right? We're not defined by our hardships. I feel like we should be more defined by our accomplishments, but our hardships give us personality. It gives us character. Um, and that's what I see. I'm, you know, the, the harder your story, the more I can feel I can connect with you because I've been through my own. Um, that's how I develop respect for other people. That's how I, you know, become closer with other people through hardships. Um, and about how they overcame their hardships. I have to add that. Um, you know, how they dealt with it, um, what I can take from it, what I can give to them. Because um, hardships, they're not going anywhere. You're always going to have a hardship regardless of how old you are, how much money you have, how healthy you are. There's always going to be a hardship, Right. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, not having enough to deal with. Um, but you should worry about if you have the tools to overcome them. Um, and the problem that I have when I do, and it doesn't happen as much now, but before in the past, um, I would meet women, black women, and, you know, we would, you know, they would talk about, their hardships in the sense that what made them who they are and you know how they deal with hard times and hard situations and honestly it was always a turn off because their hardship was about some relationship they had in the past right some relationship that was you know tough um, you know they weren't emotionally satisfied um, he was a cheater he was a liar he was abusive all these other things and yeah, there are hardships, but there are man-made hardships. Because she could have walked away at any time. It wasn't like these were arranged relationships or marriages that, you know, the parents said, we're going to kick you out the family if you know, if you don't date this guy. Right? Or you sign a legal contract so you can face fines and punishments if you get out of this relationship. Right? It wasn't even like that. Right? It was personal choice the open door policy right you can walk out as easily as you came in type of you know relationships and they would use these as examples that you know trying to show to not to prove to themselves and to prove to the world that they've been through their fair share of hardships and no it's not the case you could have walked away you spare me the whole women are emotional and women need x y and z no no right everybody needs hardships right but i feel like women black women have this concept that their rite of passage right their significant hardship that makes them a woman and makes them strong is to force themselves to be in a relationship that doesn't make sense and i don't honor those i'm sorry i don't honor those and i don't think men should honor those things either i don't care what race you are don't award girls points for the fact that they've been in shitty relationships in the past Men, we've been not, we've been in bad relationships. I don't expect to one point with a woman just because I've been in a bad relationship. Because I had the right to leave anytime I wanted to. I wasn't married to her. I don't have kids by her. I could leave anytime I wanted. So if I chose to stick around, that's my fault. I was in complete control. Part of the part of a hardship is the fact that you're not in complete control, right? That's what defines something as being a hardship. I can't control the economy, but I can control who I'm with. So I encourage men, I encourage women to not put yourselves into situations that you can control. And the reason why is you're going to get hardships whether you like it or not. So the whole point is to not put yourselves in situations, right, that you can control. Don't put yourself in a hardship that you can control because life is still going to give you its fair share. Right? So I look at some of these women, right? And, you know, they gave me the sob stories. And, it's, you know, sometimes it's a mix. They have some hardships that they can't control. But what makes it worse is the fact that they're in a bad relationship. And, you know, they want credit. They want, you know, 
me to give them a certain level of respect and a certain level of leverage, <clears throat> almost like a pass, right? She wants to use her past relationships and, you know, have a couple of conversations and all of a sudden I'm supposed to view her as eligible. And no, no, it goes both ways. Don't do it. Don't, it's, I don't care how cute she is. I don't care how sad the story is. I don't care how he hit her, how he told took her money and did x y and z it doesn't matter because she could have left she could have left at the end of the day yes what she went through you know people shouldn't go through but you put yourself in that situation right and and it's really a rite of passage that's not needed you don't have to go through that. The, you know, a black woman earning her stripes is not a product of how many bad relationships she's been in. Really, it's not. I mean, sometimes I don't want to sound <clears throat> unsympathetic. I really don't. But it comes to a point in time where we have to realize that <clears throat> we control what happens around us. <clears throat> <clears throat> when I gauge somebody's strength or somebody's self-worth or, you know, somebody's quality, I look at how they control, how how well do they control what they can control, right? Stuff that's in their power, how well do they manipulate it in their own favor, right? So for me, a woman in a bad relationship is a sign of weakness, not strength, right? So in closing, a lot of women take their bad relationships and spin it around and try to act like it's a sign of their strength. But really, it's a sign of their weakness because there's no law, there's no contract, there's no nothing that's keeping you associated with this man. There isn't. You can't, there's no way you can rationalize staying with that man. You can't. And it doesn't cut both ways. You're a fool, right? You're, if, you're, if you're a man, you're a male, you're a fool if you're with a woman who's not handling her business. Your boys will tell you, and even some of your female friends will tell you, right? I've had plenty of my uh, female friends tell me, oh, you know what, she's not worth it, yada, 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 proceed at your own risk. So they were even, you know, they were rational. <clears throat> they were rational, right, about me and my fake hardships, but they don't want to be rational about putting themselves in their own hardships, so anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Tell me how you feel. Um, share some of your own personal experiences or stuff that you've heard. Take it easy. God bless.